Well, first of all, Flacco is beautiful, just absolutely majestic and magnificent. Uh, he looks much like our native great horned owls, but you know, quite different as well with beautiful orange plumage and orange eyes. He's got a, a massive six foot wingspan and it's just a delight to, to behold him. And in addition to that, he really has an interesting personality. First of all, he is very curious. You know, there was one time in particular where uh, we saw him on a pitcher's mound on one of the Central Park baseball fields. And somebody had left behind their pitcher's rosin bag and he started playing with it. <laughs> Owls are occasionally playful, but it was very interesting to, to of course, observe him do that. Seems to be doing really well. The, the hooting does appear to require a fair bit of energy, you know, to project that sound, right, two blocks away uh, and to keep at it for, you know, perhaps hours on end. I'm not sure how long he was at it. David, what has the last year taught you, not just about Flacco, but about all the people who are really rooting for him? Something I think that's really resonated with people about Flacco is how he was able to completely transform himself. Flacco is now going on 14. He is well into adulthood for the lifespan of an owl and had lived in captivity his whole life, been born to captive owls and didn't know how to fly, didn't know how to hunt didn't know how to survive in the wild when he was first released. And yet he was able to, to figure all of that out and create a totally new life for himself in New York City. So if Flacco can make it here, he can make it anywhere. David Lay is a wildlife observer and photographer based in Manhattan. 